I'm scared of the dark. When I sleep alone, I leave my lamp on. My roommate's brother said when he spent the night, he woke up to a shadowy, hunched-over figure crawling towards the couch. When I sit in darkness for too long, my brain starts to imagine this figure, so I'm scared of the dark. And ghosts in general. I'm incredibly scared of ghosts. I tried to talk to my therapist about this once, but she was an intern, and at the time, my will to live, or lack thereof, seemed more pressing. There have been two deaths in my apartment. It was made in 1905. That makes my looming fear of the paranormal even more distressing. When I come home at night to an empty apartment, I hold my breath, unlock my door, and immediately turn on all the lights. I don't know why I think the light will keep away these scary things. Have I not learned to be just as fearful of the day? I'm scared that I'm crazy. Like, completely crazy. Really crazy. Or, or that I'm a narcissist. Or that what I perceive isn't really the truth, but since I live in my own false world, I'll never really know whether or not my perceived world is real, and so I'll continue hurting people and telling lies and thinking that the world I live in is the real world, and one day I'll wake up in a cold, dark room and look around and find out that I've been living in a lie. Is that crazy? Am I crazy? Do crazy people know that they're crazy? I'm scared that my friend Rebecca is actually going to have a baby. Like she's pregnant, but I'm scared that she'll actually have a human baby and not be prepared for it. And then suddenly I'll be close friends with a 21-year-old mother and I'm just not ready for that phase of my life. I'm scared. I'm encouraging her by saying, any choice you make, I'll support you. Because honestly, I don't know if that's true. Knowing someone your whole life is strange because then you begin to fear for them. When Becca told me she was pregnant, I began to think of all the ways the pregnancy could go wrong. All the things that could happen to her. She's standing by the train and someone sneezes on her and she gets COVID and has to go to the ICU and dies. And the baby dies too. She's standing by the train and someone trips her and accidentally pushes her into the tracks and people around her freak out and try to help her and they reach out their hands but they can't save her in time and so she dies and the baby dies too. I'm scared of children. When people leave me alone with children, my heart rate increases and I develop a stutter. I would rather scrape gum off of the sidewalk and eat it than hold a squishy-headed infant. I'm scared that I'm annoying. I'm scared that I'm perceived as someone who's overly confident and talked too much and is pretentious, but I am so scared. I am scared that I will never know who I am and neither will anyone else. If I pulled out all the veins from my skin and laid them end to end across my household, I still would not know what I'm made out of, what defines me, or what I want. I'm scared of what this complete lack of identity means. I'm scared of what comes after this, what what means to live outside of Chicago. When you tell yourself over and over again that you want something, does it mean that you really want it? Or just that you've said it a thousand times? I'm scared that no matter where I go, I will continue to be a lumpy, depressed skin suit who has too many unthought-through tattoos and a semi-bad attitude that I pass off as humor. I've been pretending to know what I want this whole time, but I'm scared I will spend my whole life chasing a dream and the cost will be eternal loneliness. It is scary and great to have something that you love. I'm scared all my friends hate me. I'm scared you hate me. I'm scared that you notice that I can't hold eye contact, that you, you notice my eyes flicker to the floor. When I catch my own eyes in the mirror, I look away. 
I'm scared that my artwork means nothing. I'm scared that my artwork is terrible. I'm scared that you hate my art. Do you hate my art? Do you hate me? I hope that when your eyes skim over these words, you understand how much my body aches to mean something, anything, even if it's just for the three minutes you stare at your screen. I'm scared I'm writing into a void. I'm scared you won't understand what these words mean. I'm scared you will understand what these words mean. Do you know what I mean? Do you understand me? Do you hate me? Do you think I'm crazy? I wish I'd written this in the daylight.